is, if not the most powerful, one of the most powerful weapons against the nafs and shaitan. Your salat is kulun amalun bin niyat. Means that if you put your life on your amal, it, that amal has to be judged by Allah Subhanahu That salah has to be judged by Allah Subhanahu That zakah has to be judged by Allah Subhanahu But anything that you're doing out of muhabbat and love, there's no judgment, there's no intention. Arab, I'm coming for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam. Then they begin to teach that that muhabbat, because there's no intention needed, it's a full qudra, it's a power that moves. So it means the haqq of Allah is in these hand and in these praisings, not in the amal. Because if the person's amal is bad, Allah is going to judge them. That amal, if it was so powerful, why doesn't it lift you up from your bad actions? But the hamd and the zikr has an immense power. As soon as you move your tongue, it begins to send an energy and a qudra and a power upon the soul, makes the soul to vibrate at a different frequency and begin to shatter all the falsehoods. And Allah says, for verily everything is praising me. But they don't have ears to hear except the people of tafakkur. Because the people of tafakkur, they hear. They hear what Allah wants them to hear according to their different levels. But these, these zikr of Allah the durood sharif that being made, means that when you move your tongue and begin to recite with it, open the lock of your ear. There's three locks that are blocking you by shaitan. The first is the lock upon the ear. Because the sahabi was samina wa And Prophet was the symbol of who heard and obeyed as a result of the perfection of Sayyidina Muhammad samina wa atana that Allah made the reality of Prophet to speak for him. That means the one who hears is the one who speaks and the reality. So it means opening the reality of the ears is primary. So as soon as you come, you begin to hear these nashis, these salawats. Let that enter into the ear. Let that enter into the heart. Let that enter and begin to vibrate the soul so that you don't only hear with the physical ear, but you hear with your soul. Are you feeling it? Are you hearing it? Or is this just the entertainment for you? Take the lock off your ear and let that salawat, that durood begin to move into the soul. If that begin to open, then Allah begin to open the energy of the heart. So three locks, that there's a lock upon their ears and their hearing. There's a lock upon their eyes and their vision and the khiswa over their head and their heart. And that's shaitan operates and manages these three locks. So Allah dispensed on life to what? To break the lock off of your ears and enter into the ocean of ihtiba. Means be from the people who hear and they obey. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. So then their life is to break the lock off of the ears so that you can hear the command of Allah You can hear the command of Prophet and that you can follow the guidance of this Ulul Am. Once they can work with that lock and break the lock off of the ear, they begin to train you, break the lock on your eyes. Shaitan has locked your eyes into dunya, locked your eyes into everything that of no value. As soon as you take a way of closing your eyes like the cop, Ya Rabbi, I'm going to one day have my eyes permanently closed. He said, the one whom is overtaken with qadab and anger and dunya, the only relief for his eyes is when Allah throws dirt upon them. Means that he died. Because that, that won't go away, that anger won't go away, the desire doesn't go away. So they took away of tafaqa. The other hand, let me open my eyes, it'll open my ears, and open the reality of my ears, and then they train on how to keep their eyes closed. If two minutes, three minutes, five minutes in a day make tafaqa. 
Close your eyes. Sit after your salah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And see yourself in that presence, in that light, in the presence of Holy Kaaba. And say, in this few minutes, I'm going to connect my heart, Ya Rabbi. Give me my hisab, give me my, uh, my muhasaba, my accounting of myself. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Grant this light to dress me, take away my difficulties, take away my problems. Cry unto Allah make your sujood. Then they train you how to be from the people of tafakkur. Where all their life they keep their eyes closed because they know there's nothing here for anything. There's nothing in this physical world of any value. But when you close one faculty, Allah opens the other. Right? Too much of your eyes for dunya, how is the eye of the heart going to open? As soon as you take a life in which you close your eyes for the dunya, meditate, contemplate. Meditation is called tafakkur in Islam. Because some people make comments on YouTube, there is no meditation in Islam. The old Islam is tafakkur. Prophet went to the cave every year to isolate. And then they said, well, at least in Ramadan, make etikaf. That's meditation and tafakkur and contemplation. Means as soon as you isolate and cut off the senses, Allah will open the real sense of vision, the real sense of what your eyes are supposed to achieve. If you open your ears and begin to open the reality of your eyes, then this khiswa, this blanket over the heart will be lifted and then they become Ahlil Basira. Whom their hearts are open. Allah open their hearts. If the heart is open, then they are a murshid and a guide. You cannot be a guide with a blind heart. You, you take everybody to the cliff and you throw them off. Because <laughs> where are you going either? You just go all the way off. So then the guide has to be somebody whom they took this way. So it means that the guides, they all have to be from Ahlatik. They have to be in that training. Somebody can't say, I'm a guy, but I don't do zikr. No, they have to be the people whom zikrullahi taqma'ina qulu. The zikr washes the heart. Don't, don't sit with people who only focus on the outside because they're focusing on the wrong thing. We, we talk about the hadith of Prophet that many have jama'ah of hadith and they sit down and they want to recite, you know, 100 hadith, 40 hadith, the 40 hadith of Imam al Nawawi. They want to recite them and keep reciting them, but they don't do even one of them. Take one hadith of Prophet and live by it. And Prophet told on the first hadith of the 40 hadith, that every amal is based on its intention. That's a code from Prophet that Allah is not looking to your form. Because where does the intention originate? Here. Should you understand? When Awliya teach you hadith, they're going to teach you from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad When Prophet is giving this hadith, the Quran Ammanun bin Niyad, that every action is going to be based on its intention, Allah is going to look to the intention, means Allah is not looking at the form of your action. So they spend so much time saying that when you make salah go like this and then put your hand like this or don't put your hand like this or put your hand like this. But the first hadith taught you Allah doesn't care where your hands are. So whoever teaching you is wasting your time. What Allah cared, what's in the heart of that servant? Because even if his hands are so perfect and his feet are so perfect and his physical wudu was so perfect, Allah is looking to the heart and sees why this heart is filled with garbage. It's an empty amal and an action. So what would you rather focus on? All empty actions? Or somebody who come and teach you, no, the first thing Allah looking at is your heart. Before you worry too much about your wudu, too much about where your fingers are, too much about where your toes are. Now you go to the masjid and everybody putting their toes on you. Keep touching your toe, keep touching your toe. Allah is not looking at my toes. The first hadith said that Allah is looking at my intention. Every intention starts from here, not from here. Qalb al mu'min baytullah. So you make intention, Ya Rabbi, I'm intending to pray. Then Allah sends the signal from your heart. 
it comes an energy to your head, move your foot. Intention is here, the signal goes to the brain so that you can, and Allah will provide your action. Then you move your foot and make your salah. If the intention was sincere, that I'm a sincere person, inshallah, I want to cry unto you, Ya Rabbi, I want to pray to you, then Allah is looking at your form, that your fingers were off and your feet were off. How petty would that be? You do everything perfect on your form, but the heart is filthy and dirty. You think that amal counts for Allah No, it doesn't even lift above the ground. So it means the way of Taskiyah, the way of Awliya, the way who are inheriting the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad their focus was all the heart. Before you wash your body and send the, the, they make vo uh, videos on wudu. And each time I make fun of it, there's a new video that comes out. And says, oh look, Sheikh, they have another uh, video on wudu, on wudu, on wudu, on wudu. But there's not one video that shows you how to wash your heart inside you. If you spend all your time washing your body, washing your body, but shaitan is already inside you, how do you wash your heart? How do you wash your blood? How do you wash all your inner reality? Where Allah is looking at the heart, He doesn't care if the body that is going to be thrown into the dirt either today, tomorrow, or 30 years. What does Allah care what you did with the body? You make intention, wash, they say wash like a madman, just finish it and go out and start praying. Because the Sahabi were making wudu with less than a cup of water. Now you make how much, how many gallons does each person use here for wudu? <laughs> yeah, come out like the hammam, all wet, everything is wet. It wasn't about the water. It was symbolic. Just take off the, the, the things that make you not pure. Take the impurities off. But the real wudu was the qalb. That zikrullahi tatma in a that make your fasting, make your qalb, make your tafakkur, look in the Ya Rabbi, how am I going to pray to you? Shaitan knows inside me. He moves in my heart, he moves in my blood. The minute I get angry, I become his agent, I become all red and, and fiery. What my salah going to count? They make their own accounting and they understood. So means then the, the shaykhs of Taskiyah, they come and teach. That focus on the heart, perfect the heart. Wash the heart. Inshallah, we'll start with the the wood. Inshallah, we'll start with the number fours. And Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly. Join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.